Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Marco from Savvy Learner. Uh, today, we're going to learn how to format a resume at Office 365. So let's get on with it. Thanks. Okay, here we go. Uh, as you see here, um, if you look at this one, I downloaded this from the internet, and this is an example of Mike Marshall. Uh, you see his resume. His was done in the, um, the MS Suite. Uh, it's an application software that's separately done from the 365 office. So a lot of times you see those lines there. You see those lines and borders. Uh, you're able to do that on the, on the Word. So. And I think you, when you do the paid version, you build it to have more features. So let's just uh, go ahead and go to the, uh, and let's format this one. Let's hold down and click and drag to your right. Go to the paragraph group and and center it. Okay, click, hold, and drag across. Okay, now we're gonna make this a font size 20, and then we're gonna make it a Georgia font. And we're gonna do the same for the one on the bottom, except we're gonna make that font 10. All right. Right, let's go to the next one. Uh, now we're gonna let's uh, let's go to the profiles. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make that a Georgia, Georgia font. And now that's where we're gonna put the bullet point point points on there too. So left click, hold, drag down. There you go. Bullet points under the paragraphs group. Uh, we're gonna copy the format. So you copy the one that you like. Go to clipboards group and then format painter. Click on that as you got the one selected and then select with format painter and you see how it changes the other one. So keep that selected and do the same thing for the one and the other one for the next list down. Okay, drag down, hold the button. There you go. It's magic. So left click, hold and drag down. And we're gonna select that. And we'll do the next one under the Waves Unlimited in Orlando. Oops, kind of messed up there. Uh, let's go Control Z to undo. So anytime you mess up, you hit Control Z, as in zebra. All right. Okay, so looks good. So the next step is we're going to delete that part because an exa the example that we downloaded didn't have those. So let's just backspace from that after the deletion. Just back backspace one time. Now you put your insertion point right there, left click and enter. Uh, it says take that bullet out. There you go. Alright. So we're going to make a space between wave and the list. So you notice the Orlando, Florida does not look aligned. All right, let's fix that one. We're gonna space bar that and make it aligned. That one looks okay. Let's go to the bottom. Okay, just uh, hold the space bar. Put the insertion point there and hold the space bar. There you go. So it looks aligned on the on the editing view. But let's go to view tabs under document view. And you see uh, it's a little off skewed there. So even if it looks uh, straight on the editor under read only um, printed version it's gonna look off. So I usually put tables to keep it aligned, so it's very consistent uh, wherever you import it or wherever you print it. It's what you see is what you get. Okay, let's go to insert group, the tables, and do we're gonna do two by two table. Okay, let's go. Uh, these are contextual tabs that appear, and if you click out, it disappears in the table and those appear 
Let's select text and Ctrl X to cut. Ctrl V to paste. We're going to do the same thing for the other ones. Ctrl X, Ctrl V. Say Ctrl X, Ctrl V. Okay, same thing with that. Left click, hold, and drag down. Just that first column. And we're going to align it to the right. Okay, left click and drag up. And then we're going to backspace. And we're just going to align it a little bit. There you go. Get it close there. Looks good. Now we're going to do the same for the other ones. So, uh, let's, okay, okay, well, let's just select all the table. We, we have to do the paragraph options. Uh, we're going to change that to zero, before zero, zero, uh, out zero, and the line spacing is 1.5. So that looks a lot better. Now we're going to take those lines out. Let's go to, uh, we select the table, we go to table design, and we go to the plane table. There you go. So you took the lines out. I recommend uh, changing the human resource manager, and it's optional, you don't have to do it. I usually like to change it to another font that's uh, in the primary font, like Arial. Now, Georgia is a secondary font, and you can still use those for the resume because they're very readable. Okay, let's, uh, let's just do for the next one, and I'm going to leave y'all alone on it. So. Okay, we're done with the tables. Let's go to the next one. Okay, let's go to education. We're gonna align that to the left. Uh, the font looks okay. Uh, might have to change that to Georgia for all that. But we might forget. Uh, so that already has a table there. So when you click on it, you see the contextual tabs. That means the table has already been done. So we just aligned that to the left. And we're going to line that one to the right. And we'll go to the bottom. That's the table. Oh, you can't see it. Line to the left. You select that column and then align that to the right. And you notice those are not very even. And you notice it doesn't align right all the way. Okay, so you just select one list at a time. Let's just go and select that. Okay, we'll go to table. Make sure the lines will show, so drag it to the right. Do the same for the bottom list. And then table design, hit the ones with a line. And we can just take the line out. So you can see what you're doing. Okay, now 
now we have to just take those lines out now. Just select the table and just take it out. Okay, just so. Uh, I think it would just leave that like it is. Is this gonna look good on the printed version? Yeah, I think I forgot to put the, the Georgia. Okay, let's. Just, I'll do that later. Let's just go to one inch by one inch by one inch by one inch. That's a standard for a resume. Uh, let's change the Orlando to a Kala, and there's an easy way to do it, and I'll show you. Okay, let's go to, uh, if I remember, let's go to view. Okay, and we're just gonna go to navigation under shows um, group. We're gonna select select the text you wanna copy, so it's control C to copy, then control V to paste under find, or you can do it under replace. So we just go to replace, and then put a call. You, you have to type this down. Ocala, Florida. Just put Ocala. Then you just hit replace all. There you go. Just saves you a lot of time formatting. Okay, it looks like we're not done yet. Uh, looks like the a little off there. Uh, Ocala, Florida is just close to the side. So we're just gonna unbold this from first. Let's just take the bold out. Let's just select the, the tables, um, and then we're just gonna let the line show, and just adjust it manually. And we're gonna do the same for the other ones. Just a, select the table, or sometimes you, if you be able to find the handler, you be able to do it without um, showing the table. So, so this is basically you have to do it by eye. And unfortunately, there's no other easy way to do it on 365. Perhaps if you buy the premium version or get the, the regular software, which is the Microsoft Word um, application. Because um, they have more free features to it. Uh, this one's kind of limited in features, but it's enough to get you started. Uh, a lot of companies uh, who's kind of budgeting, they kind of use this, the free version. And it'd be best for you to know it because you're going to come across it when you go, you know, start working. All right, let's take that line out. Okay, let's go to the next. Um, we're going to review this. We're going we're gonna to see it. The printed version, let's see how it looks. Um, looks okay, but you never can trust it on the editing version. Okay, so I've made a note there. Th those lines, like I said before, are done on the paid version or MS Suite application when I imported it. Okay, and those are hard to edit because it's not shown in the Office 365 free version. So if you see here, you, you don't see the lines, but it appears on the printed version, the review version. So we're going to take that space. We're going to adjust that. Let's see. Let's see how it looks. So the spacing can be offset a little bit, um, but this is uh, up to you. It'd be best to start out fresh uh, without importing anything. But for this tutorial, I kind of want to get this done real quick, you know, so I can show you everything within a certain amount of time limit. And I think this is all. And uh, good luck to y'all.
Well, I hope you learned a lot of the basics of formatting a resume. Until um, next time, we'll see you again, and keep practicing. Thank you.